All right, let's preview the Monday night game real quick before we get into the mailbag. Ravens versus the Browns. Yeah, Matt, Matt Shaw versus Josh McCown. Monday night. The, the last chance for a bye week team here to do anything good coming off their bye, <laughs> here, the Browns. Here's the best part. The promos now for Monday night, they've just given up a story. They've given up a storyline. It, it, it's They're playing quotes like, you know. Uh, Football. Yeah, no, there, there's some quote in the background about like, you know, you keep fighting even when it looks like you can't. Yeah, it's uh, – and so let, let's – Please watch. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately for my man, Buck Allen, uh, the Ravens are having some, some offensive line troubles. Uh, Significant. Eugene Monroe is out, the left tackle, and I believe a uh, guard. I can't recall his name at the moment. but So, they're going to be out two starters. They, are, they had already lost someone for the year. So, they're, they're literally down three starters, which could – it could either be horrific or great because it turns in <laughs> because it turns into Matt Schaub has no time and he just has to dump the ball to Buck Allen and he gets eight catches. That is the thing that's hard to predict. I I think you have to temper some expectations for him, but he's cer- certainly a guy I've told a lot of people to start tonight just because of volume. Yes, volume. Now I do want to talk about Gary Barnage because Barnage has been significantly better with Josh McCown. So McCown's back tonight. What do we expect out of Barnage? I like him. I, I, the Ravens are are horrific on defense. They've they are notably good against the tight end, but I'm still gonna play Barnage. They, they, that, that number doesn't scare yeah, me. Yeah, Barnage to me is is an average play this week because you have it, what he's done with McCown against the what the Ravens have done against the tight end. They've only given up two touchdowns the entire season, uh, one game of over 100 yards. So the the nice thing about Barnage is. He gets yards. He's not just one of these touchdown guys. He's not uh, Eifert, which, uh, man, like like I said, too much turkey. Eifert left the game with a stinger, uh, so we have to monitor his situation. Where, where Eifert is, Eifert has to score, and he's been doing it. But Barnage is not a guy who has to score a touchdown. He can, he's, he'll get you seventy yards. Yep. All right. It's true. My team. Adam in Detroit. Good. Who's the better play tonight, Crockett Gilmore or Gary Barnage? Ooh. Crocky, Crocky Gilmore's a guy I do kind of like because of just Matt Schaub. Matt, Matt Schaub uh, not having much choice, running back, tight end targets. But I'll still go with Gary Barnage. Jason, I'll, I'll switch the question up a little bit for okay. you. Who's the more delicious player? In your Ooh, life? Betty Crockett <laughs> Gilmore is the most delicious player. Also, my start of the week at the tight end position. If you're going him or Barnage, I would probably still lean Barnage if you had both on your team. But I do think uh, Betty Crockett Gilmore can put up a great game, can get in the end zone he this He really week. knows how to butter a roll. Oh, yes, he does. 